So guys, I want to continue the debate about Floyd Mayweather. Is Floyd Mayweather the greatest fighter of all time? And me and my brother had a nice debate yesterday. My brother said he thinks Floyd Mayweather is the greatest fighter of all time. And I was saying, well, I'm not sure. Guys, the, what I would say to you is there's no right or wrong answer here. A lot of you were going back and forth and saying... Uh, you know, some one of you even messaged me on Instagram actually saying that, oh, you know, you're hate for Floyd. I'm not a Floyd hater. Floyd Mayweather is definitely one of the greatest fighters of all time. He's one of the greatest fighters. I just don't think he's the greatest. Um, it's a matter of opinion. There's no concrete answer. One of you said, well, Ali's great and Ali fought in a crazy time. But I don't think Ali's got the achievements of, of May Mayweather. And I, I do agree to that to a certain extent where... We are emotionally attached to Muhammad Ali, all of us. So we always seem to be bi like we always seem to not look at it, what he did in the ring. Even though, let's get this out there. I think personally, he was more talented than Mayweather because when you're talking about the greatest fighter of all time, right? It depends on how you look at it. It's a matter of opinions. Mayweather never lost a fight. He was very strategical, right? But some people think Manny Pacquiao is the greatest of all time. They think. The fact that Manny Pacquiao went moved up eight divisions, eight world, you know, divisions, skipping two, that's incredible. That's an, a phenomenal achievement. But when Mayweather beat, uh, fought Pacquiao, he beat him. But <coughs> <coughs> when you look at it from a pound for pound, Mayweather was bigger than Pacquiao. He was a bigger man. So. Terence Crawford mentioned something about pound for pound. He goes, the best pound for pound fighter is a guy that moves up several weight classes and dominates. And Pacquiao did that in it, in his career. So from that point of view, is Pacquiao pound for pound a better fighter than Mayweather? Which means you may have to place... A lot of people play Sugar Ray um, uh, Duran ahead of Sugar Ray Leonard. Even though, although Duran did beat Sugar Ray Leonard in a close fight... He lost the second fight in quite embarrassing fashion. And one thing we know is that, for me, Sugar Ray Leonard was probably a better boxer, fighter. Not fighter, but boxer, definitely, than Sugar, uh, than Duran. And pro probably, if they had fought ten times, Dura Sugar Ray Leonard would have won nine times. Duran got his one chance where Sugar Ray Leonard fought his fight. But, for me... For me, and Duran, most people put Duran higher than Sugar Ray Leonard when it comes to the greatest fighters of all time. So, a lot of experts, there's a lot of experts that may not even have, that don't even have Floyd in the top three, top five, some of them. You know, because it's a matter of opinion. And a lot of the experts and the, box, the boxing aficionados have Sugar Ray, Sugar Ray Robinson as the best fighter of all time, the greatest fighter of all time. You know, and a lot of people would, especially a lot of the older generation, would feel insulted if you were to say Floyd Mayweather is better than Sugar Ray Robinson. Because Sugar Ray Robinson was, is considered the GOAT. He was considered the best ever. A special fighter. Special fighter. Fast, speed, power, entertaining. He had every, every, everything. Now, for me personally, what's, how do I look at the greatest fighter of all time? Yes, you've got to have a stacked resume. Yes, you've got to fight great fighters. Yes, you've got to win. But for me, a loss doesn't mean that you're not the greatest fighter of all time just because you've lost. That don't mean anything. Really. Just because you won all your fights don't mean that you're the greatest fighter of all time. Well, in that case, someone pointed out to me that Rocky Marciano, 49-0, should be the second greatest fighter of all time. He lost. Even though Rocky Marciano didn't have the resume like Mayweather, but still, he was 49-0. Undefeated, to me, doesn't mean anything. What I look at is the guys that you fought, the guys that you beat, how many weight classes you moved up. Now, of course, for a heavyweight, that doesn't happen. But if you look at some heavyweights, their resumes were incredible. Like, Ali's resume was st stupid. It was stupid. He he had a better resume than Floyd. Now, people may say that Floyd's beaten more world champions, but at the end of the day, he didn't have the resume and he didn't beat the names that Muhammad Ali beat. You know, just look at the names. Joe Fraser, Joe Foreman, so Sonny Liston, Ken Norton, you know, Ernie Shavers. Just the guy beat killers after killers after killers. You know, killers, literally killers. He destroyed Sonny Liston, who was seen as a monster at that point. 
you know so there isn't a resume here in boxing like Muhammad Ali the, the killers that that man fought killers after killers after killers he fought so many great fighters and beat a lot of them you know so for me also to be the greatest fighter you also have to be entertaining that's that's part of the package Floyd wasn't entertaining he was boring um a lot of the times I used to fall asleep sometimes during his fights because he, he could be quite boring. But that, again, that's just my personal opinion. That's why I've always preferred Pacquiao because he's more exciting. Now, Floyd's more strategically, be strategically better in the sense that if you want a guy to go and fight for your life and win a, win a fight, then Floyd's your man. But that's not what I call the greatest. What I call the greatest is a guy that's exciting, that's got great records, that's got great wins, that's moved up, you know, that's... For top fighters, beating top fighters, you know, that's what I consider the greatest. And I don't think anybody, even Sugar Ray Robinson to that extent, probably didn't do what Muhammad Ali did. He was entertaining in and outside the ring. He was fighting killers after killers after killers in and outside the ring. And the other thing is, let's not forget, Muhammad Ali probably had his peak years taken away from him because he had to go into prison. Let's not forget that. He had his peak years taken away. How good would he have been in those two or three years that were taken away? He would have been a monster. So this is what I'm trying. I'm trying to say. Muhammad Ali is hard to beat. He was entertaining in and outside the ring. Uh, he beat unbelievable fighters, and really, if we're honest, better fighters than Floyd beat. Better fighters. Floyd beat probably more world champions, yes, but he didn't beat some of the like. The killers like Muhammad Ali fought in Foreman, Frazier. These are some of the biggest names in, in, in boxing, period. Like, look how long ago those guys fought. We're still talking about them. We're still talking about them. Like Miguel Cotto, Mosley, these guys are not in the same league as those guys were. We're still talking about Frazier, Foreman. We're still talking about them. And let's not forget, Muhammad Ali and Frazier have passed away. Yet, the, Muhammad Ali will be remembered forever. But even Frazier, for example, who wasn't seen as the best of the bunch. But we're still talking about them. So, it's a matter of opinion, really. What you like. What do you like, you know? But for me, Muhammad Ali is probably the greatest fighter of all time. But if you think Floyd is, if you think Manny is, you're entitled to your opinion. Because all of these guys deserve to be in the discussion for the greatest fighter of all time. But leave your thoughts, guys. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. And guys, remember to please like, share, subscribe to my channel. See you guys in the next video. I want to thank you all for me reaching 7,000 subs. I appreciate your support. Guys, as you can probably see from my channel art, I have recently started Patreon and Blogger. Um, if you were to click on this uh, icon here, it will take you to my Patreon page. And I just want to take you through my Patreon page. So I've, at the minute, I've got two options. Hopefully, I will increase this. If my Patreon grows. But at the minute I've got uh, one option. Which is $1 a month fan donation. Which will obviously help me produce better quality content on YouTube. And faster for you guys. And I've got another option of $3 a month. For two live streams a week. Discussing boxing with myself. You guys will get to speak to me face to face. Um, and I'll take you to my boxing blog. So if you were to click on the, this B sign here. It will take you to my boxing blogs. Which is, which is this page here. And all you have to do is click on here and that will take you to my boxing blogs where you can see all my different articles that I've wrote. So as you can see, I've wrote six articles about different topics. So if you want to click on one of my articles, all you got to do is click on this and it will take you straight to the article and you can read it. And you can then go back and read the others if you, if you would like. But yeah, guys, I thought I'd just highlight this to you. Um, so make sure to read my articles. Uh, make sure to subscribe to my Patreon if you're interested. And guys, I thank you for your, your support. I thank you for me reaching 7,000 subs. Guys, I'm out.